Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to show you a bike setup I have. It's an e-bike with a solar panel attached. I'll show it to you in a minute, but I made a video a few months ago with this same setup and I thought I did a very poor job. I didn't really show you how it was put together. I didn't give you any links in case you wanted to do the same or anything like that. I basically just showed you through it and rode up and down the bike trail. And that, I'm going to redo this and delete that one. There weren't that many people saw it anyway. So, But anyway, let's have a look at it and I'll show you what I've got. This is about the perfect place to show you what I've got. It's like a covered lunch lunch area or picnic area behind the high school where I live. But, and uh, we're in the shade now, but we're about 10 feet from the sun, so I can show you both. Here's my bike. Uh, let me see. Let me start with, uh, here's the bike, here's the trailer, and the solar panel. I guess I should start with the heart of the system, the solar panel. This panel, I got it from Amazon for about 110 to $120 at the time. Uh, it's a hundred watt and it measures about 20 by 40 so it's it's as narrow or narrower than your handlebars so uh, you won't be sticking out if your handlebars clear this should too and um, underneath it's supported By these, these, this uh, setup here, this setup here, I'll show you in a minute. This setup here supports the panel and attaches it to the trailer. Uh, this right here, this is just, I got that at, at Lowe's. Uh, EMT goes through there if you want to mount it to something. Uh, I'm sure you, you Saturday morning handymen know all about that and electricians too. And here's another little look at it. That's what attaches the panel actually to the trailer. And here's the trailer. It's uh, burly as you can see. Two wheel it attaches really easy to the bicycle. There are thousands and thousands of these out there. It's not really pricey. I think the trailer might have been, I caught it on sale, it might have been $200, but normally they're around three. And then the rack that goes on top, that's from Burley also. It's a uh, it's an extra, it costs more, it's probably 60, I'm guessing, but I'm going to give you links to these things. Before I go any farther, I'm going to show you how this panel tilts. You can tilt it toward the sun to capture more rays. If you're going say east or west in the in the uh, middle of the day if you if you tilt it you're going to really increase your solar output
Here it is tilted toward the sun. Well, we're not in the sun, but we will be. I'll demonstrate it in a few minutes. And uh, I'll show you the difference in output. But I'll leave it like that for right now. And you can see underneath. Oh, I've got it fastened and see, see what I've done. Okay, the heart of the system is the solar panel, of course. And uh, here's how it's mounted. And this is a, uh, this frame is, is made for, it's for a solar panel. You might not have to, if you got you some angle aluminum, you could do the same thing. Just take you a little more time. Uh, so it the power comes out of the panel and it goes into this MPPT charge controller. MPP stands for maximum power point transfer, I believe. I'm not sure. It's um, more efficient than a, just a boost uh, controller. Uh, this takes my power, whatever it may be at the time, 20 volts, 16, whatever, whatever it's given off, and boosts it up to 42 volts, up to 42 that's what my batteries charge at. They're 36 volt, but it takes 42 to charge them. So that's what this does. It, it boosts the the uh, voltage so the uh, battery can use it. And uh, it goes through there. There's a little display here on the end of it. I don't know if it means that much. Uh, we're... We're getting just enough solar power just to turn it on is all it amounts to. Anyway, I've got a link for that, and I'll have a link for all this stuff on uh, the end of my, under my video in the comments section. Now the power comes out of the uh, MPPT. Right here is a little inline fuse in case something goes wrong. And it comes through here up to the front of the bicycle. I'll show you in a minute. Now, one thing I should have done that I didn't is have some breakaway connection here. Just plugged in in case something happens. You lose a trailer or whatever. That it, it will separate so you don't tear stuff out. I suppose if you lose the trailer, you got a lot more problems than that anyway. But I think it would be a good idea. Maybe right here where, where I have a connection anyway. Now the... Um, right here it is. Hang on just a minute. Okay, I had a little problem. My bike fell over. Um... It uh, goes up to this little watt meter. Told you what's going on. It shows the voltage. That would be battery voltage. The power going in. We're in the shade right now, but it's still putting out 5 watts. And it gives you the current in amps. And that is... It's, it's gone 21, it's charged 21 watt hours. I must have accidentally reset it, but it was up in the uh, thousands, I believe. Uh, at least, no, it was several. It was, it, was, it was way up there. I must have reset it, and I don't know how to do that. Anyway, it goes from that little meter down, comes out, and goes into my battery. So you can 
direct charge that battery. This particular one, you can charge it while you're riding. If you have a good output from the sun and uh, you aren't uh, using too much power, you will you will see you will see this voltage rise as you're going, and it I mean it'll rise in hundreds of a volt, but it'll, it'll still be rising if you are putting more in than you're taking out. Okay, I have it out in the sun now, tilted toward the sun. And it, it may be even tilted a little bit past the optimum angle. I can't tell. But anyway, let's look and see what we are on the watt meter. 71 watts. Okay, let's just say 70. And I'm going to lower it back down in a minute. And uh, we'll see what it is. I'm going to stick my hand in front of it to show you how much that hurts it. I'm just going to be over the corner of it. I'm covering about a two by, f about a four by four uh, square. And I've almost, I've cut it in half. So it's important to uh, be careful. So sometimes you can't avoid it. Uh, but if, if you can keep uh, keep it in the sun, you're better off. Okay, I've got the panel flat again, and we, let's take a look and see what kind of wattage it's putting out. Looks like 60. I thought there'd be more of a of a difference in that. I've seen it 30, 40 watt difference. But anyway, if you're going a long time in one direction, it may be worth it to flip that panel toward the sun. If you're not, I doubt if it would be worth it. I took a solar setup to Iowa this year. It wasn't this bike, and it wasn't this solar panel, although it should have been both of them. Uh, I was concerned somewhat about the weight of the panel, but as it turned out, it, the, the one I took wasn't any lighter. Uh, and the, the bike didn't perform like I thought it should. Alrighty, folks, this is it. I hope you got enough information. In case you want to do something like this, you can. Uh, there are other setups that people do. They will have a solar panel charging a jackery, and then you plug your battery charger into the jackery. That works, but you lose some uh, watts in the transition, changing from DC to AC back to DC to charge the battery. This uh, is pretty efficient. You can tell because of the, just the small amount of heat that that controller gives off. It's, uh, it's not losing much. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will be putting the links up in the comment section. And uh, you guys have a good day.